Hi, my name is Becca, and I am passionate about helping entrepreneurs get their website out into the world and harness the power of SEO. So we're going to go into how to take your Instagram reel and turn it into a YouTube short. You may be wondering how this has anything to do with my business, but using a YouTube version of your reel allows you to use SEO. Instagram is not really searchable in terms of using Google with SEO, but Google and YouTube are. So this allows you to actually make your reel worth it, in my opinion. So first of all, get your Instagram page up and find the reel that you want to turn into a YouTube short that reel and then you're going to copy this URL and then take it over into snap insta and this allows you to download the reel without the watermark you will still have the music so just, that's just something to be aware of because um obviously there's some you know legal issues with music with youtube so you might want to use some of the YouTube short music, but it will then download, come over to your YouTube channel, create, and you will upload a video. And if you upload the video, it will turn it into a short because it is vertical and it is not very long. So it automatically converts it to a short. Select files, then you just of course upload it. And then um, a couple different little hot tips I would suggest is once it is uploaded, let me find it really quick. You could even change the Snap Insta and make make it have keywords that are applicable, but I'm just gonna move forward, upload it. And then if you, you'll of course wanna change that title and change the description if you want. The description doesn't really show, but coming down here, you can, once you click next, You can add a related video. And so this is a great way of connecting to a longer form video on your YouTube channel that is applicable and just getting people to continue to binge your content, showing YouTube that you are worthy and they will continue to pop your video up. Um, and again, just harnessing the power of SEO. So if you have any other SEO questions, put them below. I also have a free SEO resource and that will help you to, um, use SEO on your website and get it found on Google. So I'll be sure to link that below.